All right, let's take a look at the wrist flexion manual muscle testing for the flexor carpi radialis and the flexor carpi ulnaris. You can test these muscles both aggregately and individually as well. Uh, I'm going to support the uh, forearm uh, at the, at the, actually at the wrist, um, just proximal to the wrist. You want them to start in a little bit of wrist extension and make sure these fingers are relaxed so they're not going to help cheat uh, or substitute. So what I want you to tell the patient is try to keep this in a neutral position. Bring that straight up like so. So go ahead and do that for me. So right now, aggregately, we know she's a grade three. So now if we wanted to test um, like the, uh, the flexor carpi uh, ulnaris, which is um, gonna be on this medial side. Again, I'm gonna support her here and I want you to try to flex and ulnarly deviate at the same time. So go ahead and do that for me. Okay, you're gonna lead with the pinky. Again, that's gonna be a grade three for the ulnaris. And then a grade three for the radialis side is going to be a little bit of ulnar deviation and uh, flexion as well. So go ahead and bring it up, bring it up and uh, up and away that way. Yep, good. So you're leading with this side here. So, so that's those three for a grade three. And of course, your grade five uh, is going to be bend your wrist and hold it. Don't let me pull it down. And you got to make sure you keep your fingers um, relaxed throughout the entire time again because you don't want any uh, substitution. Okay. So um, go ahead and do that for me. Bring that up. Bring, yeah, bring your hand up just like that. Now hold that. And now what you need to do is apply your resistance to the palm of the test hand using your four fingers. Um, so hold that right there. Don't let me move you. Okay, you ready? Hold it. Don't let me move you. You're going to basically just pull them straight down into uh, extension. So a grade five is she holds against uh, full resistance. A grade four, hold that. Don't let me move you. She may yield a little bit. We already saw a grade three. Now we're going to get into a grade two, which is going to be um, uh, gravity reduced. Hold her in the neutral position like this. Uh, and of course, you know, you can apply those same resistances for the radialis and the ulnaris as well um, for, for the flexion. So just to review that really quick, hold, um, go up and like up and away like that. Go ahead and do that for me. Up and away. Yep. Now you're going to pull in a diagonal direction toward the ulnaris side because you're working on the radialis. So hold that, you know, pull it this way for, the, for that um, radialis. And then um, now we're talking about grade five, five, four, three again here. So sorry for the switch up confusion. So again, now for the uh, ul ulnaris side is, um, you know, hold it like this. Okay, now, now you want to pull them away uh, into, in the opposite direction. Good. So let me, let me break you here. So you're going to pull them in this diagonal. Okay, so that's going to be for, um, for the ulnaris. Now again, grade two. Uh, is you're going to have them complete the available range of motion with a gravity reduced position. I have her off of this is even though this is a very smooth surface, I have her off of this smooth surface so she can um, have free range at this point. So go ahead and go ahead and move into that position just like so. Go ahead and do that for me. So she completed the full range of motion. Now go ahead and bring into um, a supinated position. Now for a grade one, you can. Um, Kind of put them in a slight flex position and you ask them try to bend your wrist okay relax bend it again relax bend it again and the patient uh, should be asked to repeat that test uh, so the examiner can continue to continuously try to feel uh, the tendons of both sides of the contraction and relaxation uh, relaxation so okay so try to try to lift it up and relax lift it up and relax and you can palpate on both sides there pull it up and relax pull it up and relax good so I definitely feel those muscles uh, contract there for a grade one. And of course, a grade zero is you're not going to feel any contractile activity, nor will there be any motion at that joint.